Hi friends, and thanks for tuning in. If you've worked in PowerPoint for any amount of time, I'm sure you're familiar with the shapes menu where you can insert a variety of shapes into your slides. And there's a pretty good selection here, but occasionally you need a shape that's not on this menu. So in this video, I'll show you how to create pretty much any shape you want using the merge shapes functionality, where you can even create something like Pac-Man here. Let's get started. Let me first show you the five different options you have for merging shapes. We'll start with union here, and I'll just select both of those shapes. I'm using the shift key to do a multi-select. And then up here under shape format, come into merge shapes and union. And you'll see that's just a single shape now, and the outline here is gone between the shapes. Now you might be familiar with grouping shapes. So if I undo that and we right click and say group, it's kind of similar in that you can treat it as one shape, but it is still two. You'll see that I can select both of the shapes there and we still have the outline. So union will actually make it a single shape. Let me just redo that and get rid of that border between them. All right, let's take a look at combine. So again, selecting both shapes using the shift key, combine. You'll see that combines the shapes except for where they overlap. So that diamond there in the middle. For fragment, this is actually gonna create three separate shapes, at least in this particular example. So the middle diamond here, you could actually move out on its own. All right, intersect. Let's take a look at this one. Here, you're just getting the shape where it intersects. So just that single diamond in the middle and it got rid of everything else. So that's it, just the one shape left. And then for subtract, I'll select the shape on the left and then the shape on the right. You'll see this actually makes a difference for this one. And then up to merge shapes and subtract. So in this case, it's subtracting the shape on the right out of the shape on the left. If you want the opposite of that, you'll need to select the shapes in a different order. So let me just do a control Z to undo that. So this time I'll select the shape on the right first, hit the shift key, select the shape on the left, and then try that again. And you'll see it subtracts in the other direction. So the order of selection does matter on that particular one. Okay, so that's the basic functionality for merging shapes. Now let's go work on Pac-Man. I've just got a new blank slide here. I'll make the background black. And let's start with Pac-Man. Now I like to find a shape that's fairly close to what I want instead of just completely starting from scratch. And there is actually a Pac-Man like shape here. If we go to insert shapes, this one right here is pretty close to what we want. Another thing you can do with shapes is to edit the points. This particular one has the yellow points here that you can see right away. And you can just move those around until it's just the way you want it. But if you have a shape where those are not visible, you can still edit it. So let me just insert a rectangle, for example. We don't have the yellow points, but if you come up to shape format and edit shape, edit points, then you can actually move these points, which can really help you to get exactly the shape that you want. Okay, I'll undo that. Let's go update our Pac-Man here. I'll make this yellow. And then let's insert a circle for the eye. So insert shapes. I'll just hold down the shift key to make that a perfect circle. Now here, you could just make this a black circle and let that serve as his eye. But this is a good way to use the subtract functionality just to make this a single shape. So I'll select the larger shape here, hit the shift key, select the eye, and then for merge shapes, we're going to subtract. And you'll see that got rid of the eye there, and it is just a single shape, so there's not a separate circle there for the eye anymore. All right, now let's look at the ghosts, and I'll show you the completed version that I did here. There's no built-in shape that's perfect for these, so what I did was take a circle for the head, and I combined it with this wavy, wiggly shape down here at the bottom. Let me show you what I did here. So we'll insert shapes. I'll just kind of eyeball the size here. And maybe we don't want it a perfect circle, more of an oval. And then for the wavy shape at the bottom, if you come up to insert shapes, 
There's one down here that works pretty well under stars and banners, the double wave. So let me just grab that one. And I'll just sort of eyeball this here. Get it to be the same width as the circle. That looks about right. Let me bring that in a tiny little bit. Okay, and then I'll select both of them using the shift key. And then up here, we'll do a union on these. So now I can treat this as a single shape. This one will make red. And I'll get rid of the outline. And then I'll just copy paste to create two others. And I'll update the colors here. And then we'll go add the eyes. So we had a blue one and a pink one. And then for eyes, I'm just going to use an oval shape. So I'll select this. Just sort of eyeball it here, no pun intended. And I'll make that white. I'll get rid of the outline. And I'll just copy paste that. And then for the pupils, I just used another oval in blue. So I will insert shapes. Something about like that. Copy paste. There we go. And I actually won't combine this one yet because I want to select just the eyes. And I'll move them to the other two. All right, it's coming together. Now let's add a shape for this wall or divider, whatever you call this here. And this is another good opportunity to combine some shapes. So I'll just select something that's fairly close as far as the rounded corners. I'll go with this one right here. If that's not in your recently used though, it's the rectangle with rounded corners. I'll just select this here, kind of eyeball it. We're not gonna do a fill on this, so no fill. But the shape outline, I'll just go with the standard PowerPoint blue here and then make that weight, I'll say a six. And then I'll copy paste that. And then I'll rotate this one. Just kind of overlay it right about here, extend it. But we want this to be just a single shape. So I'll select both of these using the shift key. And then here for merge, I'll do a union. There we go. Now that's just a single shape. And then for good measure, I had also put these circles down here, the points that you get as you're roaming around as Pac-Man. These are just circles, nothing real special here. And I made them a gold color with no outline. I'll just copy and paste a whole bunch of these along the bottom and be right back. All right, now one handy tip if you don't know is a way to get these aligned and spaced correctly. So if you select all of them, come up to Arrange and Align. Make sure that they're all aligned in the same top position. Or because they're circles, you could actually do middle or bottom as well. But let's go with top. A couple of those needed to nudge a little bit. And then another really handy tip is to say Align and then Distribute Horizontally. So this is going to distribute everything evenly between the starting left circle and the circle on the very far right. There we go. I'll just select everything, center it a little bit better on the slide. And there we go. So those are the basics of creating your own shapes in Microsoft PowerPoint using the Merge Shapes functionality. I hope you found this helpful and that you can use it at some point in your own PowerPoints. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button and also consider subscribing for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.